54 degrees. It's cold, isn't it? It is. Heated seats are on. Coffee. We're going to our favourite little cafe to get a nice coffee. I did suggest Starbucks, and then when I said, oh, why don't we go inside that to shower? Boom, shakalaka. Warmed up already, isn't it? Mm, lovely. Lovely. <clears throat> Another vlog. Ooh. You silly boy. You, oh. what's the chances? Oh, seriously. Why don't you just go that I'm way? I'm going that way. Ah. Uh. My. <laughs> that, that has never, ever, <laughs> ever. Okay, you all right. Right, I've been driving five years, right? Outside my mother's, so I park on the drive, and when Lily comes over, she puts a car on the side. I come out and go left mm. every time. Obviously, look, I have a little look to see where if there's any cars coming. But sometimes a car blocks the view. Anyway, I've gone round. Went three times. I've gone to go. But there's a car, and that's nuts. That is nuts. Five years. That's never happened. And if it's happened, it's only ever happened once. There's never been three consecutive cars when I've gone to go. Mm, especially when you cut, they weren't there when you were looking and then they just appeared. That's mental. Mental. Anyway, we're going for a coffee. We're going for a coffee and then we've got to go to Furniture Village. Again. Again. Because the table got delivered today. 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 This morning. This morning at stupid o'clock in the morning, bless him, up and out of bed. Mm -hmm. um, and we have paid, as you know, for the care package, which means that we have to go into store to pick up like the sprays and the stuff that they give you as the care package, which is fine. Which is fine. But it's not like, it's not a far journey, but it's a bit of a wasted journey. They could have really gave it us when we went last time. We are also going to ask, which to some people might seem a stupid question, but basically it's obviously it's all packaged up and it's all boxed up. Well, we're not going to open it. Well, our intentions isn't to open it. Until we're in the house and we can unpackage it and build it. So we're looking at roughly like... Two months? A month and a bit? Five or six weeks? Yeah. If we don't open it and it's damaged, I'll be covered. So while well, we've got to go up there anyway. Yeah, like will they recommend us to open bits and check? Or will they say, well, if you're not planning on building it yet, don't open it because if something happens to it, then you won't be liable. Whereas if you have proof that it's the first time opening it, because we're going to get them to come out and build it, ideally. But... I will be able to build it, me yeah. and my dad or me and your dad. Yeah. But if we damage it, we're not covered. Yeah. Well, we are covered because we've paid for the thingy, but we'd rather be covered if they build it, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, rather than we do anything, bossed it. We are gonna film our house journey part two soon also, which you'll see in the next couple of weeks possibly, which will explain from when we reserved to the point that we're at now. And that will include like our options, site visits, you know, give you an indication into our house. <gasps> hold it quick, hold it. She's got that on video as well. <laughs> Just spilt that in my car. <laughs> right. I'm s I sat on it as well. I've got a, a coffee cold bottle. <gasps> <gasps> right, that didn't go as planned. I'm just currently sitting up off the seat. The bottom is wet. <laughs> <laughs> we can all wait to try the coffee together. Not much spill. No, which I'm really impressed about. But I am so sorry, you know I never meant to do that. It's because it was the cup was wet and my hand was cold. My face. <gasps> like my he, face he, is gonna be his bit. car is his pride and joy. He hates crumbs and spillages in his car. He moaned at me the other day because I dropped an, like an aero chocolate ball in his car. You've still not found it? You shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> I went with, it's an ice latte, and I went with cinnamon. You've gone with, he's looking for this aero ball now. Oh yeah, amaretto. Amaretto, I know, 100% I'm going to prefer his, but I love cinnamon, so. Mm. Mm. 
They're just so good at making our iced coffee. I mean, it's a bit dark, but it is definitely coffee. Oh, it's nice as well. Mine, mine's not, you can't tell. You love it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think that's my new favorite drink. Are you have a sip of that again now? After you've had a sip of mine and you'll get that, that amaretto hit. That is. Outrageous. The next person who buys this car off me, like, they're just going to have a chocolate ball in the car. Mm. And I also got... Do I trust you with that? Yeah, you do. Cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun! I can't believe you just did that. I actually said, I said to Lil, like, last week, I was like, right, that's it. Not eating, not drinking in my car. I don't like to <laughs> tell you no, do I? No. Boy, you're stuck in your face. <laughs> what? I didn't know that. I was wiping my hands. Would you rather? I saw this on TikTok. Lose all your teeth. Or every time we kiss. I think it was. I think it was. It takes a year off your life, which is a bit extreme. So like on our wedding day, we're taking like 10 years off our life, just, just through one day. We probably wouldn't make it to the wedding day. You have to think outside the box though, because you might lose all your teeth, but look at the technology now. You can get implants. implants. Yes, who's Paulie again? He has the immune system of a fly. Yeah, I'm always ill. You've been poorly about five or six times this year. Yeah. And Marty had three of them has been in the last like four months. Mm. So I just want some cold and flu tablets, but I'm not bothered for me. I'm like feeling all right now. But because you've got your work to do tomorrow. Mm. I'm gonna wake up poorly tomorrow. So hopefully if she takes a couple of tablets. It will kind of like kill it off before it grows. Fair, nobody wants to get ill. Obviously, but I don't. This is gonna sound stupid. I don't mind getting ill Sunday. <laughs> your work's due tomorrow. Yeah, so. I want, I've got my work's due tomorrow. I don't want to feel poorly. I don't, you know. So if I feel okay tomorrow and I start to feel groggy later on in the night on the work's due or Sunday morning, that's fine. But I just don't want to feel like crap before I even go. I kind of like tighten this and it's hurting. Girls, you'll understand what I mean. I never liked McDonald's, ever. Whenever he used to say, I want a Mac, he said, be like, oh, no. But this past two months, I think I've had more Mackies than I have the past two years of my life. Like, KFC. KFC's up there. I was always like KFC. And then recently, I've just been really enjoying a McDonald's and that's like really unlike me. I've had my nails done all nice and Christmassy, guys. I didn't film the last time I had my nails done. I went for a nice blue and then I had my nails done yesterday. I've got a nice and red, matchy car. I like that colour. Yeah. That's nice. Whenever he chooses my colour, he chose, like I said to me, to get black. And my favourite colour that I've had this year was black. How funny is that? He's very good at picking a colour. Do you remember when I told you to have them? She asked me what I should, like this was the first time she ever asked me. Mm. This was like last year, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And I found an image. He an researched image on Google. On Google, some like some nail design, and, and it was sick, wasn't it? it yeah, was really it was nice. so nice. To be fair, I think I might get that again in the new year. I've asked you to get it again, but for you haven't. You have to be careful as well because of your job. Yeah, because of my hairdresser, they just get tint covered really quickly. Lily still hasn't a car. Has it? No, 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 no. Lily still hasn't had a car back. Yeah, it is currently. Three months and three weeks. Absurd that is. I don't think, I originally said I was gonna get my car back by December and that was like the start of November. I don't think I'm gonna get my car back. Like the 20th of January, like another two months, I don't think. Ramoed for Christmas. Ooh. <sighs> Rah. You're right. <laughs> we will catch you after Tesco.
went and got corn flu and also went and got a mop bucket. Adult things. <laughs> Lovely. Love to see it. <laughs> got the care kit. Got the care kit. <laughs> so, marble, ceramic and stone. We've got like a solid marble table. That's why... Thanks! So, yeah, we got our care kit. Um, we're going to go through it, go through the paperwork. We've got to go home and double check everything is fine. So, yeah, we will double check when we get back. See, no damages or anything. It did get delivered today. Right, care kit boys. Let's see what we got. Ned nearly boy. Ned nearly boy. <laughs> I end up breaking something. Oh, oh, it's magnetic. Magnetic. <laughs> it's what? Magnetic. Oh, a little fancy, fancy. Fancy. So, let's just show them. So, if you go and get your care plus package for from Furniture Village, well, I don't know if the. Ooh, this is what it will come as. Some sprays. Which Marble, the ceramic, unit. stone cleaner, polish and sealer. Universal cleaner. I wonder if they smell. I'm not going to spray it in your car. Don't, for whatever you do, do not smell bottles like that. I'm a bad example. Ooh, exciting. Care packet. <sighs> and a yawning Neely. Neely boy. So. Right, heading home. Checking the booth. We might show you, we might not. Ain't decided yet, have we? Yeah, might do a little cheeky sneak peek, but we want to do like a grand reveal once it's all Because off. it's wow well nice. It's a fire. See you later. Peace out. Peace and love. Hello, YouTube. Welcome. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to like, leave a like right in, subscribe if you're new, follow our Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and keep right on. <laughs> yeah. Up the place. Up the place. I love Furniture Village, it makes me so happy when I go in there. First ad that we have, sponsored ad when we become big YouTubers is Furniture Village. Jokes. I really fancy going to a garden centre. Yeah. Do you want to go? Yeah. <laughs> Change your plan, garden centre, guys! Never been to this one. Could be pure shit. You've never been here? No. The green is. I think I'm in. 
He thinks he's in. So he's definitely not in the lines. We're just in a garden centre. Never been here before. Ashley has. So I don't know what we can film in here. We'll wait and see. <laughs> Look how pretty these are. I mean, this is the kind of one that I would go with. Maybe not this, not a fan of that. I like that one. Yeah, well, I like that one. But this is like the bow and the cinnamon sticks. This one's nice as well. That's only £10. It's got e orange. That one's my favourite. Oh, no, I don't like the flowers on it. That one's probably my favourite. It's neutral. That's nice. <gasps> no, that one. I know it's 40 quid, but it's got the blue bow on. Cinnamon. Oh my god, the Christmas trees. Never been here, but look how cute it is. They've got all like the little individual company, like the stalls. The hairdressers there. Get out. <gasps> That's amazing. Hot tubs. We're trying to find like an artificial sculpture. Yeah. We? Sculpture? <laughs> well, they're like artificial grass sculptures. No, what he means is a faux plant, like a fake tree. So obviously we're in a garden centre, so nine times out of 10, it's going to be real here. But just to give us an idea of what we sort of want, what we're looking for, like we don't want it too big. This is so bizarre. The don't fact that I've nice. never been yeah. here. No. There's a florist over there. But look how pretty that is. How amazing. And like places like this just exist and just run a business. Never been here before. Oh my god, homemade dog collars and accessories. So when we do our garden, which won't be straight away, it's not a priority, we're thinking like along the footpath, we're gonna go for like a white stone like this. Just think it looks lovely. I mean, it's Benny. <laughs> nice colour though. But yeah, that's the kind of vibe we want, isn't it? Like yeah. that white. Thank yeah, you, yeah. over there. Oh, no, but th when they're real, they grow, don't they? This feels amazing. <laughs> yeah, look, that's the kind of height we want. Maybe not that tree. No, thanks. How much is it? <laughs> <laughs> 217 quid. 217 quid? Yeah, the 20 quid one from Tesco is fine. I've got an inside to here as well if you want to go and have a look. Yeah. It's cold by the way guys. It's currently like four degrees. So oh my god, there's loads around here. Your mum would want some of them plant pots. So garden centre guys, we have officially hit peaked middle age. So we've pretty much found the perfect one. It's a spiral one that we want. How much was that? I don't it doesn't say. doesn't say but I like it. I like that one as well. Yeah, like that's like an uh, olive tree. I do also like that pointy one in the middle, but not that big. Like that one there. Well, 61.99. Oh, they're cute. They're really cute. And they're more in our price range. Not gonna lie guys. Some pots because we're gonna need a pot. I think personally, not literally. Oh god, that's really heavy. <laughs> oh my god, that was so heavy. Oh my god, no chance of my lifting that. That's yeah, not too bad. Oh, you liar. That's so, not bad for 15 quid though. No, not at all. We need something like this as well, guys. Like a proper cement heavy duty because if we went for like any of the plastic pot ones that come with the trees it just blow over in English weather we need like a heavy duty one I personally would like just a plain grey or plain black one 
That would look nice next to the door, but Brian's more like okay, isn't it? Yeah. How cute is that archway? So, spontaneous trip to the garden centre was cute. I like that. Whatever that is. <laughs> Look at us, like early 20s, coming to the garden centre. Who'd have thought it? You're probably thinking, what is that noise? It's so loud when you walk on this. Guys, look at this, like woodland man. How scary is that? Look how big that tree is. God, have a look how much that is. Does it say? <laughs> a thousand pounds. Oh, a thousand pounds for a tree. Ah! Oh my God, they do all the Christmas trees here. Now guys, controversially, I am a fake Christmas tree and so are you, aren't you? Yeah. Always been fake Christmas tree. However, I do love the feeling and the smell of them and I think they look lovely considering you spend like 40 to like 150 quid or whatever it is on a tree for it to die and make even your house a mess that's not quite your standard one but it's but lovely really like it. this is more our taste though isn't it like a bit more is that a lemon tree yeah i'd say it's real as well <gasps> My mum would love them reindeer. And that one. The... Yeah, they are real trees. Yeah. Guys, this is like our, our kind of... That's actually sick. Cool one. That is lovely. I love that one too. Not that it's our colour scheme, but that's lovely. But this is the kind of colour we're going to go for. Like this navy. stuff like we're not at that age yet no not yet although i do really think that's cute i like the uh that color door stop a lot that will go in our house lovely because it's neighbor yeah <laughs> it's not until you start looking for your own house that you start being drawn to that color how pretty is it in here guys That'd be so pretty for a little girl. And the cupcake. Like this is like a little girl's oh, that's dream. The tree. That's such a sick idea. Yeah. Oh my god, look at the giant lollipop. Oh. This is so pretty. little coffee shop in there how cute foliage or foliage depending on what you say that's a nice i think if we was to get a tree skirt it'd be that gray. yeah or white but gray is nice yeah i like it oh my god this is so cute God, 
Right, we didn't actually buy anything, but it was nice to go in and have a look. I think it gave us, obviously, because we're still up in the air about when we're actually going to be moving in, so we can't actually decorate our house for Christmas this year. So it's nice to see the things for ideas for next year, though. And it was just a nice trip in general. Like, I love a garden centre, a little spontaneous garden centre trip. It's all preparation for next year. Oh, it's, yeah. Because if you ever see anything, even though it's not important. And it may not be there next year, but at least it gives us an idea. Yeah, like if, if we ever see anything, you never know, do you know what I mean? So it's always handy. Not necessarily just stuff for Christmas. Yeah, just in you general. You might see stuff that... Just for the garden? just so happens that in the garden centre, like we were looking for stuff like whatever it's called, for outside. Basically, we've got this thing that we want outside just because it looks really good. Yeah. It's like an artificial, like an artificial kind of thing. It looks really good. Don't make sense, but it does make sense if you make it make sense. Make it make sense. <laughs>